Clarium, what the heck? Hey guys, Erroneous here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today's video, I'm going to be going over the new clan insignia. I know you've probably seen it a million times, but before you click off the video, I want to show you something really important. It is the clan insignia emblem here. It's so ridiculous. I honestly think this is insane. So in order to update here, so we saved our clan insignia one time, okay? The next time we go to save our insignia costs a hundred gems. What is that? Why? I don't understand it. I mean, I get it. You don't want players spamming and rechanging over and over and over. And you probably don't want to see... I mean, dare I even do this? Should I even do this? How do I look at clans in the world? I forget. Say I want to just look at clans. Where do I... <laughs> I'm losing it, y'all. I'm losing it. How do I even go find clans? Let's be honest here. Is it through here? Do I have to be out of a clan to, to find clans? Oh, clan rankings. I'm so stupid. All right. So, sacred pandas don't have anything. I'm surprised. They should make a panda. I mean, come on. They're sacred, right? So, let's see. Gallifrey, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. King, King Gorilla. All right. King Kong. All right. They must have started banning. They must have started banning clans making, you know, things that aren't meant to be made with insignias, like children. Okay, this is an interesting one. I, I see what they're trying to make here. I mean, look at their clan tag here. You can see what they're making. Uh, let's see. Do we have any more, you know what? Do we have private parts anywhere anymore? I don't think so. I think they must have banned them. Because you see these ones that aren't here anymore? They must have started going through and banning people who created them. So, yeah, it seems like they're starting to ban everybody who creates an insignia that's not meant to be created. Don't know what the heck that is. All right, so keep going through. And in the top 100 clans, you don't see a single private part anymore. So, that's good news. Looks like Plarium's already striking them all down. It looks like Plarium's already going crazy. What if I just search for try? Let's go for tryhards. Can we search for that? Is there anything here? One insignia? Well, nobody's really caring about the insignias now, are they? Let's go for the best. Some people, some people like to call themselves the best clan. Mediocre at best, okay? We still don't see anything, all right? Yet we're not seeing anything related to privates anymore, so that's good, right? We don't want we don't want to be labeled as kids when we're all 30 plus years old half the time playing this game. But I wouldn't put it past half the the dudes that watch and play this game anyways. Uh but yeah. What did Plarium expect was gonna happen, you know, when they introduced insignias into the game? What did they honestly expect was going to happen? But this is ridiculous though. This is absolutely ridiculous. Just like honestly, <laughs> I don't understand it. By the way, we do have some slots open in the clan. I did kick a few members because they didn't listen to this very, very simple rule. 70k points only during personal CVC. You can rest when we don't have CVC personal rewards. During personal rewards CVC, you must get 70k plus or else you're going to get kicked. It's not very hard. You should be able to do it in a matter of an hour, maybe two hours, assuming that you have decent habits, not habits of going through all your shards or going through all your champion food and stuff like that. Like you could literally just upgrade champions for half an hour and get 70 K points. You could go in tag team arena and do one day. If you're in silver one, one day of tag team arena, you're good. Save your books, save your great hall points, wait until CVC personal rewards. So anyways, that being said, we have five spots open. You have to have 7 million player power plus. Okay. To join, let's get back to this. What do you guys think about this? This is ridiculous in my eyes. I really think they should have just did a cooldown. Once you create your emblem, there should be a cooldown. It shouldn't be you have to now pay 100 gems. They paywalled it again. Why? Why would you paywall this? I don't understand. 
okay this is this is starting to become i mean i get it i get it you don't you're probably frustrated with people that are acting like fools acting like children making private parts you know shout out to jay gigs for calling that out you know he knew it was going to happen and uh of course it did but you know paywalling it is crazy 100 gems just to save this just to recreate it just put it on a cooldown that's it put it on a cooldown make it five days make it 10 days make it a week make it a month make it a one month cooldown so that way people actually think before they react don't just do it on a whimsical like on a dime don't just change something instantly you know everybody needs to come together as a team the whole point of the insignia was to bring people together create something amazing for their clan get the clan leader to approve it and then boom there you are but a hundred gems just to change uh you know a symbol i mean come on that's that's too much to me i really think that's too much that's just i don't know that's just me um oh yeah i forgot they changed the required you can you can change the points that that are needed for the cvc point contribution can i manually enter it why can't i manually enter it well that's ridiculous so i can't manually enter 70k points again plarium this is the first time i'm looking at this i didn't even notice this honestly but plarium seriously look at required clan member cvc points contribution each clan member must earn a minimum C number of CVC points during the clan versus clan tournaments to earn clan rewards for reaching milestones as well as versus rewards. This required CVC points minimum is set by each clan's leader. So now if you get under 70K or under 75K, then you don't only not, you'll miss out on personal rewards if we, if we win. You're not going to get really many personal rewards anyways if you're under 75K. But you're also not getting the clan rewards. So, yeah, you definitely need to start contributing to your clans if you're in them. I'm going to set mine to 75k because apparently Plarium can't allow us to set our own minimum and maximum. Come on, Plarium. Please. It, these, this is what is frustrating to the player base. You bring out these new ideas. You bring out these new quality of life improvements. And then you bring them out and they're just half-assed they're not fully complete they're not a, a full thought out work you know piece of work they're just they're just not good it's frustrating it's so frustrating and this is why people leave now you're making me have to change this to 75k too by the way like that's that's crazy all right but regardless this should be a manual. You should be able to just manually put in, manually put in 60K, 70K, 80K, 90K. What if I don't want my players to just get 100K? I know there are a lot of clans out there that require 200 plus K. And to some people, that's unreasonable. But my clan, I ask at least 70K. That's what I've always done. I'm now bumping it to 75K. That's still fairly reasonable. Again, I didn't even notice that until now. But yeah, this is ridiculous. A hundred gems. Make it make sense. Guys, leave your thoughts and comments down below. Let me know. Let me hear what you would do to change this insignia. What would you change in terms of quality of life improvements for the clan settings or other items for clans in general in the comments below? Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you all. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you on a video soon. Take care.